At the turn of the 21st century, several of us public address and rhetoric scholars were asked to identify the top 100 political speeches of the 20th century. On that list, which was headed by Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream, are 21 uh, speeches by 17 different women, and four of those were by First Ladies, two by Eleanor Roosevelt on human rights after she left the, the First Ladyship, Barbara Bush's 1990 Wellesley Commencement Address, and Hillary Clinton's speech that was delivered in Beijing uh, to the uh, UN Fourth World Conference on Women in 1995. Now, I could speak for 15 minutes on all of these speeches, but I don't have that much time. So briefly, let me talk about where their power came from and why they made this list. In Barbara Bush's case, it was with the use of humor to deflect a very uncomfortable situation that was basically with the hostile audience. If you remember, she wasn't the first choice uh, to be the commencement speaker at Wellesley, and there were actually petitions to try to remove her from that position. She deflected that with humor, and then she went on to conclude her speech by saying, who knows, somewhere out in this audience may even be someone who will one day follow in my footsteps and preside over the White House as the president's spouse, and I wish him well. And essentially what she said was women should make their own choices and not have society present. I have a short clip of the beginning of this speech, if you would show that, please. Now I know your first choice today was Alice Walker. <laughs> Guess how I know. <laughs> known for the color purple, instead you got me, known for the color of my hair. <laughs> Hillary Clinton's Beijing speech was widely praised internationally because it demonstrated the powerful podium that a U.S. First Lady has outside the United States. She recognized worldwide inequalities for women, including right here in the United States. And she explained that by providing agency to women, everyone benefits. So here's a short clip from that speech. If there is one message that echoes forth from this conference, let it be that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all. Among those rights are the right to speak freely and the right to be heard. 